Hey guys, it's Megan. Today we are going to be talking about coming out to your parents. I know how difficult it can be, especially if you're living with your parents and you're not quite sure how to tell them or how they'll take it. And Anon on Tumblr asked me to share my coming out story. First of all, about my parents, they're really cool and liberal and I was never scared they were like going to kick me out or anything. But I actually didn't end up telling them, they kind of figured it out because I was watching The L Word on Netflix a whole bunch. I changed my status on Facebook and my sister's ex-boyfriend told them and they asked me and I was like, yep, I am. Um, Megan? Yeah, mom? I noticed you've been watching lots of L Word lately. Uh -huh. And I heard that you changed your status on Facebook to into women. Uh -huh. So are you gay? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I still love you. At least you bye. I still actually like hid out in my room for a couple of days. It's kind of weird when you don't actually come out because you're kind of thrust into it. You're not really prepared, so that's kind of what it was. If I had just told them, it wouldn't have been such a big deal, but yeah, that's my coming out story. We all live happily ever after, and a few like negative comments that you could run into if your parents aren't as open or supportive, or you just think they're going to react badly. They might say, how do you know you're gay? I think you should answer that by saying, how do you know you're straight? Seriously. Most straight people will understand that it's just something you know. You know that you're not that into guys and that you're really into girls or if you're a guy, really into guys. It's just who you're attracted to and you can't help it. They could say, are you sure? Yeah, because it took me however long it took you to finally muster up the courage to tell them. Of course, you're sure. If you weren't sure, you would have made that giant leap of faith. They might say, hey, this is just a phase. Most people don't do it like the first week they realize it. Most people wait years. And, you know, I think if they figure out that you've been dealing with this for years or months or however long it's been, they'll realize it's probably not a phase. And I think if they also take a step back and realize the fears that you were going through in telling them, they will understand that it was not something you would risk if it was just a fate. If you're a girl, they might say, but you've had a boyfriend. Or if you're a guy, they might say, but you've had a girlfriend. You can explain to them that you were just trying to fit a role that you knew you weren't going to fit into, or maybe that's what made you discover that that's not what you were into. I think it's really important for them to understand that you're young, <laughs> you may not have everything figured out, Maybe you were trying to make them happy. Just be honest, like, why were you with that person? If you've never dated someone before, they might ask you, well, what if you were with someone of the opposite sex? Could, like, maybe you just not be experienced enough to understand what love is, to understand what the attraction is like? Don't let them pressure you into that because that's not fair to the person that you're going to date and that's not fair to you either after going through so much to muster up the courage to tell your parents, just tell them, no, I don't want to date someone of the opposite sex. They need to accept you and love you for who you are. We're sending you to counseling, or we're sending you to a camp to turn you straight, or anything else to try to turn you straight. Try to get help from another adult. I mean, if you're under 18, then there's really nothing you can do about that except go. If they are legitimate counselors or psychologists, they will be on your side. The only way that they wouldn't be on your side is if they were like a church counselor. If they're sending you to straight camp, make the most of it. There are a bunch of kids there that are gay that probably don't want to be there. So take that time to explore. And if it's a counselor, don't let them bring you down. Hopefully they'll be on your side. Hopefully you'll actually have an outlet to talk to them about your parents and everything you're going through. Maybe it can actually be a positive thing as well, but if it's not, just try to stay strong. Find an adult that is on your side that you can talk to about the counseling. Try to get out of it in any way possible. And your parents might say, is it my fault? First of all, it's no one's fault. They're just sad because you're not going to have as free a life as everyone else right now. Most gays cannot get married. You're treated like second class citizens, you can get bullied, you can get beat up, but 
No, it's not their fault. Just explain to them that you really were born that way, or you, you can't help who you are. I think it's really important for them to understand that all you want from them is love and respect and everything that they've been giving you since you were born. Alright guys, I hope this has been helpful. I love you all. Share your coming out stories below. I would really love to hear all of them. I'll reply to as many as I can. And good luck.